Roxanne Lincic, I'm a fashion designer. The first question is, how much did you love your craft when you were young? I must say, I didn't quite know what um, fashion designer is when I was young, but I definitely did this intuitively. I always loved to dress up and express myself to the clothing, customize my clothes, um, for example, when I was in my primary school, I was the only girl in the class that uh, was really bothered by how uniforms are looking. So I decided to customize it and take all the buttons and change them to something else because obviously um, uniforms were not allowed to be customized. So I kind of find a different way around it. And what I think it's important to kind of start to express yourself and find that passion since their early age, whatever that is, it can be not necessarily fashion, but I think it's very, very important to nourish it, to work on it. And if there's anything that you know you have passion for, I think you should um, don't let anybody to take you away from it and just keep pursuing it as much as you can. The second question is what form of training did you do, such as courses or university? Well. My training is really specific and particular, and I think it's important for you to know that. So I started originally starting architecture back home in Belgrade. And I also at the same time studied Faculty of Applied Arts, which combine different form of arts like painting, drawing, sculpting. Um, but also uh, at, towards the end, you could do your dissertation in fashion or costume design. So. Um, basically, my schooling was much more about drawing and about expression through different mediums rather than through clothing. But I still managed to get my place at um, very, very prestigious St. Francis and Martins at the master's degree under incredible Louise Wilson, um, who was um, leading the course at the time. Um, I think I was very lucky to be taught under her because what was interesting in that time that she was taking students who didn't necessarily have or who were not necessarily coming only from fashion. Um, she always thought that thinking differently, thinking out of side of the box is very important. And the only way to do this is by actually gathering the people who come from all walks of life and different backgrounds. And um, as I said, I was just lucky to be one of them. Your third question is, what is your favorite part of your job? Well, creation, creating something new, expressing yourself, expressing a world around you, expressing the culture, time that we live, you can do all of that through clothing. Um, it's not only something that um, provides us with, you know, what we are going to wear or how we are going to um, look in a society, it's much, much more than that. It's, it's falling in love with a certain aesthetic, falling in love with a certain piece of clothing, um, aligning yourself with somebody's vision, letting that vision take out the best out of your personality. I think there are many, many layers why fashion is um, so special. And um, the second part of my job that I love is definitely meeting people. I think fashion offers such a big variety of people that you, you know, come across first by studying, then, you know, with your colleagues, but then also with the clients, with incredible, you know, community of women that um, I have managed to build through um, my long career. It's almost like a 15 years since I started. So um, yes, I think the design process and meeting people is definitely the best things about my job. 
Fourth question, what uh, are the most difficult parts of your job? Um, and I like that those questions, the questions go uh, hand in hand with each other because yes, of course, there are many, many difficult parts in a job as well. Um, one of them, it's definitely time. I think the time, um, it's our biggest luxury. I think that we are living too fast. The speed is definitely incredible. And um, you often don't have time, unfortunately, to enjoy all your successes, um, the wonderful world around you, um, your family. Um, it's, it's tough. I, I won't lie to you. I must say, if you want to succeed, if you want to get somewhere, it, it does take a lot of sacrifices. And I personally always find that time, quality time, as as something that um, I think it's quite quite difficult to manage. Um, fifth question: Do you feel like you're making a difference in your sector? I I find it as as an excellent question too. I I think it's very important that we all make a difference in the sector that we are working. It's not just about creating. I think it's it's very much about building a platform when you can change something in a world for better. So, for example, when I started my label, obviously at the beginning, um, you don't have such a strong voice. Um, not many people are obviously following you. But once you manage to establish that and once you get opportunity to talk to people. Um, I took a stand of um, really, really supporting women. I am a woman designer that designs for women. And I felt that it's just like a natural progression to actually take this uh, a step further and to use my platform and my designs to also support other women in, in many different ways. So, um, for example, you know, I'm often inspired by other female artists that usually I collaborate with. Um, I, I like to do joint events with them. I like to also empower my customers. I like to give my shop as a possible um, a point of sale to young um, unestablished artists as well. Um, so often you would find either pieces of ceramic or drawings or, or, or art pieces that uh, are there um, as, um, you know, my my little way of, of supporting women as well. And just putting a spotlight on certain creators who might not even be with us. They, they might be, um, unfortunately, they, they might have passed away, but just to kind of highlight how incredible those women were and how important their art is. Um, to me, it's, 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 it's very special. Um, I, I also, very much support children charities that is something that is very close to my heart and again i say once you establish yourself and you're in, in a situation to do it i think it's very very rewarding and very very important um and also i believe that i'm making difference in my sector directly through the clothes i think that you know, I was very stubborn with using the color at the beginning of my collections when not so many designers were navigating towards color. And I wanted to bring that playfulness and joy and idea that fashion doesn't have to be too serious, you know, that, that you can still love it and enjoy it. Um, and and um, as I said, like ha have fun and be effortless. Um, so that's that's one of the things, I guess, that kind of um, you know, I contributed, um, and I, and I hope many others, um, but, um, I leave that for you to discover when you go and dig in and look a little bit more through work that I've been doing. Okay. Question number six, what advice could you offer for now to acquire customers and make contact, uh, to grow a new business? Well, I think there is one thing that is very important here, and that is that your product, whatever you're offering, has to be really unique, really something different. Um, it needs to um, have a certain quality, quality of the way it was produced or quality it's, it's presented to market. Um, it, it has to stand out. So 
I think customer will always find it and, and customers are always finding something different, something new, something unique and special. Second point is probably creating um, that connection or emotion with the customers. As I said earlier, they're not coming just to buy a piece of clothing. They can, they can buy it much more affordable or, or maybe they don't have to buy it because um, they already have something. But you are creating beauty, you're creating dream, you're, you're creating inspiration. And you're also creating something that is, um, you know, comes into the question as well. So um, I would say that that's definitely uh, that connection between customer and how do you create it. It doesn't just happen on its own. You have to think about it. I think that that would be the second point. And then the third point, um, you definitely want to know your customer. You want to meet them in person. You want to know who they are. You want to know what they love, why they fell in love with what you're doing. And I think that that's definitely a great way to um, grow and acquire a new business too because that personal connection is usually much stronger than anything else okay question number seven what advice would you give to someone who is also looking to get into your craft well i i think what is important to um know exactly who you are what you are about what you love and then follow that vision, follow that goal um, full-heartedly. I think there are many obstacles that are happening along the way. And it's very important not to give up and to believe in yourself and to strive to always be better. I always say that I'm my worst, um, um, you know, critique. And uh, sometimes that's quite hard, but it's also very, very good. Because pushing yourself to do better, um, bolder, bigger every time, it's very, very important. Uh, eighth question now. If you could, what advice would you now give to your young self? Well, this is the question that um, I get asked quite a lot. And, and it's interesting because, um, you know, at the different times, I would probably give different advices to myself. Um, but right now, I think I would say to my young self to be aware that for any victory, any single victory, there's many, many, many more failures. Um, and I think it's important to know that it's important to know the journey is hard and um, that things like everything else in a life, don't happen easily. We need to earn them, we need to own them. Um, but we also have to believe in ourselves constantly. We need to be focused, we need to be inspired. And knowing that whatever you want to achieve would come with many failures, I think it's very important um, not to get discouraged, just to keep going. So um, I hope this has helped you at least a little bit and good luck with um, anything you want to do creativity is very very special and um, i would just advise you all to keep building on it thank you bye